G project or IC projects in the Gambia because there is an there is excitement among residents and drivers at Old Yundum following the commencement of massive road construction in preparation for Gambia's hosting of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Summit later this year. The residents also expressed discomfort with the current dust situation and other health implications they may suffer from the activities of the road construction. Let's have more details of that in this report by Moses Emende. A few years ago, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation announced that its forthcoming 15th summit will be held in the Gambia. The announcement was received by Gambians with elation. The Gambian leader Adam Barrow has described it as a game changer. The OIC Gambia Secretariat has identified the Saad Dauda Kairaba Jawara International Conference Center, which was inaugurated by President Adam Barrow in 2020. Road infrastructure, VVIP airport launch and terminal renovation, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Hotel, VIP cars and delegate transportation and security as the six priority projects for the summit in the country. This will decongest traffic is the movement of goods and services, boost local commerce, and stabilize water and electricity supply. Keba Sawane is a resident of Yundum, Yerambamba, and just like many other Gambians, he shared excitement about the road construction in progress, but pointed that the thick dust emanating from the work is a challenge. Mr. Sawane hopes the road will benefit Gambians home and abroad when complete. When I heard about it, and then the first time the road we were having was small, but this time the, I, the OIC, they are trying to make the road, you know. So I am very happy and I'm very glad as a Gambian and as a patriotic citizen of this country. I am honored, you know, to be seeing a benevolent job is taking place in this new road, you know. So I am saying that, you know, I wish the work to go smoothly and then the workers there, everything to go smoothly. Although... It's on a very high tax at this moment. We can see the dust everywhere, but that's, that's what we are expected, you know, because when you want good, you need to encounter some difficulties also. But like at this moment, that's only the problem we are encountering. We are encountering a lot of dust, but that's what we are praying. I believe after the construction of the road, it will be a better road, you know, and then all Gambians and the people in diaspora, they will be very happy because, it's, because this highway, it is the main highway that Gambia ice is on. When from the airport, this is the main highway that you normally take up to Senegambia. So it is a very important role to us and we love the work to go smoothly and then everything to end smoothly. I'm saying Alhamdulillah for that, you know, to be honest, you know. The summit, scheduled to take place later this year, is seen as the country's big shot at transforming the infrastructural landscape of the country. But some held reservations about the speed at which work is being carried out. Doubts have been casted on the success of the project. Speculations has it that structures might not be ready in time for the summit. Keba, however, said work was progressing swiftly before the Korite and is sure it will continue proceeding swiftly after constructors return from Korite break. Before the Korite, they were moving very fast. But during the quarantine, they were taking a break of like three days, you know, and then today some of them have already resumed back to do the work effectively again. So I can say that, you know, for the break that they have taken, you know, although it's not that much long, but Alhamdulillah, hence they are resumed back again. That's what I was even saying to my colleague. I believe after now the quarantine today has the third day in before they will take another break, maybe it will be around Toboski. So I believe they will going to make the better use of the the time that they have during this period, you know, before the Toboski, I am sure of that, you know. Yeah. Suleiman Dao, a part-time taxi driver, also explained that the thick dust usually pose a challenge for the people in the neighborhood, including food vendors. The inconsistent watering of the makeshift diversion routes is a main cause of the thick dust, he lamented. So if you go around, you will see that it is a big challenge. We live in the neighborhood, but the dust disturbs us a lot. You cannot wash your car here. Food cooks are here too. They do water the diversion routes, but not always. You see this dust is over affecting us. It is really challenging, easy at all.
Yeah. Mr. Ndao also said the government is trying and went on to make emphasis on the importance of the road and called on the government to speed up the road construction process for the good of every Gambian. Sometimes when you are on the move, the diversions are a problem. The expectation is they have to accelerate the rate of which they are walking, you know, because this is a big highway. Everyone is using it. Sometimes to reach the airport, Johnson, is a problem. So if the job can the be organization done faster, of Islamic it will help and is the second largest intergovernmental organization after the United Nations with membership of 57 states. The Islamic Summit takes policy decisions and provides guidance on all issues pertaining to the realization of its objectives as provided for by the OIC Charter and considers other issues of concern to the member states and the Ummah. This meeting is held once every three years. Moses Mende, iAfrica News.